What's going on YouTube? Wild Lion Games here. We're going to check out some of the physics settings within Football Simulator. First up, we're going to look at uh, Arcade. But we're going to use the same teams. I'm going to be Washington. We're going to face off against the Arizona Roadrunners. And what we're doing is I'm going to look at a couple things here. So when we open up Arcade, we see Muscle Spring at 120, Muscle Damper at 5. I don't know what these means. I don't know anything about code. But just based off of those two attributes what we're going to try and figure out with this fun with physics series is what we change in the code what is that going to look like on the field so what we're doing first is establishing what normal gameplay looks like on a few different uh, physics modes so first up we're going to do arcade uh, then we're going to look at custom 2 because that was recently being talked about by a lot of you in the uh, Discord channel. And then I also wanna look at realistic uh, and compare all of those. And right here, I selected kickoff return left. Um, I'm gonna keep the same play calls on all uh, three different physics modes to make it the same. And mm, look at this, baby, we're getting a nice return here. Nice little drag. This is in arcade. So first play, we're just gonna go left to right on the play call. So we're gonna go sweep right breaks outside here nice okay okay classic ragdoll this is arcade this is like the default setting when you first launch the game and you first download it so this is probably going to look very similar to a lot of you and i'm wide open here i'm just going to dive and nice little moon jump because i want to call at least four plays so here we go here's the next play in line again i'm just going left to right here this is arcade rolling out uh, i'm just going to take the sack that's fine all right, that looks fine. Then we're gonna run sweep right one more time. See what happens. Oh, we weren't able, that's a nice little hit there. So that looked pretty good. All right, so now we're going into custom two. We've selected custom two. And when we go into the code to see the difference here, uh, it's still 120 and five on muscle spring, muscle damper. Um, so I'm curious as to how this is gonna look. I actually haven't played on custom two yet. And a lot of you in the discord were talking about how how it felt great and felt a little bit more realistic, like the players had some weight to them. So I am curious to see if despite those two values, oh, and I can see a difference right away. I mean, I just get taken down. That hit felt like it had a lot more impact and <laughs> same with this one here. It just felt like there was a lot more force behind those hits. I also didn't have a great angle on the run. And then, damn, another big hit. So. The same, you know, two plays from the scrimmage and the kickoff return, I'm already seeing a major difference between custom two and uh, arcade. We'll run one more play here on fourth and 15. We're gonna do the sweep to the right. See if we can break these tackles here. Nope, nice hit. Um, all right, yeah, that's very clear. Night and day difference there. So let's move over to realistic one. And let's see what this looks like in the code. Realistic one, we're looking at a what is that 40 and zero on the uh, muscle spring and muscle damper so let's see what realistic looks like uh in comparison to the two or to the other two we might just end up only comparing uh custom to and arcade and ditch realistic we'll see this okay i had the opportunity to escape wasn't able to so let's pitch this out to the right and i'm just gonna all right well I'm just gonna outrun it, everybody. That's not what it's not what we are looking for here. Um, yeah, that's not that right there. That's not bad. So so far, I kind of like realistic one. Um, quarterback gets rid of the ball, going deep. Throwing mechanics still seem the same. You're able to get the ball off late. This looks like almost at least between the little bit of interaction I'm seeing here, um, like a nice balance between custom two and arcade, although. I don't think muscle damper and muscle spring has much to do with it all. Here we go. I'm scoring here. Look at that. Boom. Look like Michael Vick jumping in the end zone there. So, okay. So now what I'm doing is I'm open up the physics custom one uh, file right here. I'm going to kind of use this as my mess around file for me. So physics custom one is I'm going to make some tweaks to it. We're going to see because we just saw the difference between physics arcade physics realistic one and then the uh custom two and we also not only saw the differences on the field but also in the code so just to make this video a little bit more interesting i'm going in here in physics custom one we're going to change the muscle spring to 400 and the muscle damper i don't know what do you guys think should we do like 
like 29 i don't know it's just a random number in my head all right so we're gonna go ahead and hit save all right so let's go to options you can see for the physics tuning we have custom one selected go ahead and hit back and uh, we're gonna pick the same teams see you down on the field And again, I'm, I'm really curious what muscle damper and muscle spring do. I didn't feel like I saw a little bit of a difference in uh, the different. Oh, we just see bodies colliding everywhere. Great blocks. And I'm going to take this to the house. It also might just be cheap using the Washington regulars. Uh, oh, I couldn't really escape him. Okay, okay. So we see some funky player movements happening that we weren't able to see by just jacking up both numbers on the muscle damper, muscle spring. Blockers falling over. Ooh, so that's a good collision, but I also noticed, if you notice, if you were to rewind the video, and you remember when I broke free around the corner and dove into the end zone, and how it was like a beautiful like moon jump, and this one was like a very weak jump. Ooh. Well, that didn't work out for us. But he immediately falls over. So, what I'm noticing already here with muscle damper and muscle spring is guys are falling over. Maybe I should have only adjusted one at a time. Because I'm not sure what did what. Um, let's see here. Incomplete pass. Nice. So yeah, you can definitely break off blockers a lot quicker. Guys are tumbling over easier. And um, it doesn't seem like it's done anything as far as like whether or not you get hit and taken down right away versus, uh, oh, and the quarterback just slipped and fell. That's a safety. First safety we hit, he just tripped over himself. Players are tripping over themselves with the muscle damper so high. And I wonder if muscle damper has something to do with like weighing them down and the muscle spring is like just based on what those uh, what those sound like and not knowing anything about code muscle spring makes me think of like how springy their joints are but also if I jacked it up like that and he can't dive but I'm gonna be able to return kicks all I want that's for sure so yeah, you can you can definitely tell a difference. It doesn't look as smooth. And I'm curious as to what it looks like when I just move up muscle spring and leave muscle damper alone and then vice versa. But this video has been long enough, so we'll have to do that on another on another video. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope you enjoyed the video and hopefully it spikes some curiosity to maybe feel brave enough to mess around with the uh, the code. In, uh, in your own game and see what you can figure out and um, I feel like we didn't really get anywhere with this video but I'm gonna keep messing with it see what we find and we'll uh, we'll go from there but thanks again for watching make sure you hit that like button and subscribe and until next time peace